Okay, so we got our game working out right here, but we have a little bug. And check it out. Whenever the user jumps, he just stays in that jumping position. So he doesn't start running again. He just slides like, you know, he just jumped onto a platform of ice or something. So that's obviously not what we want. So we need to basically say, whenever he lands, um, don't make him stuck in that jumping animation. We need to change that real quick. So this is how you do that. We actually need to add another event and the cool thing about this is there's a built-in event that says um, basically when they landed and this is platform animation triggers on landed. So in order to do this we need to see if they landed in one of two positions. Were they continuing to run when they landed or did they just land and stay still? So if they were continuing to run keep the uh, running animation going or whenever they landed if they just stood still play the idle animation so of course we need some sub events so highlight that and click S and the first thing that we can test is platform is moving which pretty much means um, did they continue to run if so player will just go ahead and set that animation to run and done and the only other thing we need to add is make sure you don't click this add event because then it's gonna create another whole thing we want to create a sub event to see when they landed so basically this is saying um, let me go ahead and do it first then I'll talk you guys through it but platform is moving and for this we're gonna invert it and let me add the action too it'll be easier to see set animation and this one is just idle so basically it's saying okay the dude landed now what do you want me to check well if he's moving still then set the animation to keep running instead of having him just slide across the ice and also after he lands from a jump if he is not moving remember I inverted this so this means not moving then just set the animation to idle so he doesn't look frozen he just sand, when he lands he just stands there and bobs up and down so it's gonna have um, a lot more realistic behavior and if we check that out right now let me go down to my base level right here Ooh, can't fit through there so he's gonna run and then he's gonna jump and now he's gonna keep running after that and also whenever he jumps and he just lands he doesn't go in this weird like looking left or right position he jumps, player lets go, and he's standing there idle, ready for the player to do something. So that is how we fix that bug right here. And uh, well, our game, or at least our player, is pretty much uh, set up good to go. He can jump around, he can run left and right. So now I think it would be cool if we actually started adding some enemies. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial, making this guy's life a little bit more difficult, but a lot more fun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.